Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. So um, this is kind of a mixture of a few different request videos I've had and I'm going to try to kind of roll them up into one instructional deal. And the scenario we're looking at here is suppose you went ahead and installed Chrome OS Flex on your laptop and then for whatever reason it's just not working out for you. The hardware is not working great. You don't like it. It's too limited. You can't get Linux working. It could be anything. And you're, now you want a way out. So we're going to go over exactly how to do that today. Now, about a week or so ago, I put a video up and I had to take it down shortly thereafter about how to go straight back from Chrome OS Flex to Windows. And the reason I had to go back is um, it, it was brought to my attention shortly thereafter that the method I posted is not going to work on most devices. Like on my particular laptop, I was able to boot from the Windows 10 installer, but I couldn't install it. And I've gotten feedback from a lot of people on that one. There's ways that I might actually be able to get it working, but it's a whole it's a whole deal you got to go through and to maybe not even have it work. And so a far easier way to get out of Chrome OS Flex as you need to is to first go to Linux. And from there you can either stay on Linux, which is what I would do, or you can create uh, Windows install media from within Linux. But what we're going to do today is show you how to erase Chrome OS Flex from your laptop and go over to Linux. And this will work on most distributions. I'm going to be demonstrating it today using Fedora, which is what I use on my main workstation. You can also do Zorin, which we've talked about on this channel several times. And um, so let's go ahead and the first thing you want to do to do any of this is to download whatever distribution you want. Fedora 35 is what we're working with today. If you want to do Fedora, just search for download Fedora. You'll come to this page and you want to get an ISO file and go ahead and download that. I already downloaded it. So while it's downloading on yours, another thing you're going to need to get going is the um, Chromebook Recovery Utility Extension. Now, if you installed Chrome OS Flex, you probably already have this on your Chrome, but if you don't, just search for Chromebook Recovery Utility. It'll bring you to the Chrome Store. And you can just go ahead and activate that. Mine says remove, yours will say activate. So, now, you downloaded your ISO of choice. It's going to be in your downloads folder. What you want to do, I have two copies here because I've already done this to make sure it works before I recorded the video but you're going to right click on your ISO file and say rename and you're going to change where it says ISO and change it to bin B -I -N. and you can see I did it right here on this file I actually copied it and renamed it so that's what you're going to want to do after that you're going to take your USB dongle put it into your laptop then you're going to go to Chrome and you're going to go to your Chromebook recovery utility and here instead of get started you're gonna click on the little gear and you're gonna say use local image and it's gonna let you browse to your uh, bin file that you created say open choose your USB say continue and then go to create now and this is probably gonna take depending on the speed of your USB drive anywhere from five to ten minutes or so now I've already done this on this USB that I just put in there so I'm not gonna write it again what I am gonna do now is um, switch to recording on my phone because I'm not going to be able to screen record while I'm installing Linux on here so uh, and then I'll merge the videos together afterwards so I'll be right back alright guys so we got the recovery media written to this micro center USB deal it's not a plug for micro center <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and shut down this computer Let's see if we can focus okay now, what we're going to have to do here is boot it um, off the USB and the uh, what you have to do for that is going to differ depending on the manufacturer of your computer. If you installed Chrome OS Flex, you ought to know how to do that. On this Asus, it's F12 to get into the BIOS. So I hit F12. I'm going to go to the boot menu, pick my USB, get her booted up. You know, just take a minute to start. She's blinking. Let 
All right, here we go. This laptop is the Asus L210M, which you can find on Amazon. It was only like 200 bucks, I think, last year. Maybe a little less. Okay, so you can either try it and just run it right off the USB, or you can install. I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Why not? All right, did I click on it? Here we go. All right, we got to our Fedora installer. It's pretty straightforward. Installation destination, I'm going to pick the one terabyte solid state hard drive that I have in this thing. It did not come with that. I added it extra. So to say done. Oh, I wanna say I wanna make additional space available. That way we can go ahead and uh, erase that whole disk. I'm going to delete all, reclaim space, my time zone, get that set up here, I'm in the central time, and begin installation. Now, <clears throat> this will probably take a few minutes, so I will uh, stop it and then come back when it's done. Alright, we're back here, the install just uh, finished, it took a little over 10 minutes. I'd say, I'm going to say finish installation, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and shut her down. Once it shuts down, we'll take out the USB and uh, see if it boots up. All right, well, I'll wait till the light goes off, there we go. Pull that out, and let's start it up, see if it all worked. In search of incredible, indeed. Loading. All right. We're really gonna take too long for first boot up. Start setup, connect to my Wi-Fi here, just a second. It's hard to type with one hand. Okay, let's go to next, next. I do like third-party repositories, next. I don't need that. Uh, just a second, let me make an account. Ah, and our password. More one-handed type in here. Hold on, let me just put the phone down. Okay, so we're all uh, set up and running here on Fedora 35. I'd say all in all it took about um, between 10 and 15 minutes to get rid of um, Chrome OS Flex and go back to Linux on this thing. Now from Linux, uh, it'd be easier to create a Windows installation media if you wanted to go back to Windows. I wouldn't recommend it, personally, if you're on an old, slow laptop. Linux works quite a bit better. And in fact, in my uh, various testings on that uh, other MacBook I have, Chrome OS Flex isn't really that much faster than Linux, if at all. So um, if you're a person who wanted to do a bunch of Linux applications and weren't using it just for web apps, then you might actually be better off using Linux instead of Chrome OS, which we've talked about in this channel and other videos before, but... There you had it. It's fairly easy to uh, get Chrome OS Flex off of there and go to a uh, Linux if you wanted to do so. It's a little more complicated to go back to Windows. I think it'd be easier if you went to Linux first and then tried to make Windows installation media. Um, but like I said, I'd personally stick on either Chrome OS Flex or Linux. If you want to do a lot of Linux work, that's probably the way to go. But anyway, 
hope you uh hope this helps some of you guys who are asking about it and um if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel and uh i'll see you soon